Hey everyone, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming here. We are back with Sir Smash! <laughs> As we play Torchlight 2. Alright, so we're going to be just rocking back in. I've still got a couple of stat points that I haven't spent yet. Um, and since it's still the first few videos of the new branding at the start with Freedom, partnering with the Freedom Network, don't freak out. It's all on my back end. These guys are just give me some extra support and all that sort of jazz, and I'm very appreciative of it thus far. Alright, so fishing holes are kind of uh, a little thing in this game to sort of pick up. And um, as that outer white, I'll show you again. Uh, as that outer white circle goes in closer to the fishing hole button, you want to wait until it goes from the outer circle to the inner circle and they meet. And here we go. There. Just about there. Just a little early. So I caught nothing. Um, that's how you do fishing. I'm going to do one more show just to show you. Uh, it's going in. Come on. Come on. Goes back out. Got it. There we go. Caught something. Caught a ton of show. Alright. So here we go. Right click to feed fish to pet. Watch my pet. It is a bird. Now it's a mole beast. Kind of cool, eh? Alright, so, da -da 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 quest, something, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's how I roll this game, <laughs> it's just, cool, you want me to go hit some things with this giant hammer? Sweet bro, I like that, let's go do it. Alright, crack, oh we didn't kill that guy, there we go, 216, nice, 2-1 hit kills, Uh, and so literally would just be, whoa, where did those guys come from? Must have been a death effect. Um, so we're literally just going to go around and try and do this as quickly as possible in some areas. We're going to try and just do like a quest or thereabouts every, oh, every video maybe. Maybe we won't get through, completely through one. We'll try. I, I can't guarantee how long these videos are going to be either. Um, it's just the downside to having a YouTube channel sometimes where you're just like, I, I want to do this, but at the same time it takes forever to do that thing. And it can be... Uh, you can see some of the ones will be like 10 minutes and other ones will be half an hour. really does depend on what I'm trying to do in that entire um, video as well as other things I want to get done. So in this, I'm just going to try and get as much done as possible. We just picked up a green a walking stick. Nah, that's no good. And we'll just try and get as much done as we can every video and leave it at a reasonable point in the video. So what I mean by a reasonable point, I mean a section where if I stop and come back to it, you guys are not going to be super confused by what's actually going on. There we go, some identified shoulders. There we go, smack the ground. Uh, no. Cool. Wander up here. As you can see, the monsters and you appear in red and blue, respectively. Uh, monsters in red, obviously. In case you didn't know what respectively means. <laughs> um, and literally it is just one of those things where you just got to keep running around and kill as many guys as you can. Get those levels really early. Uh, I'll try and just complete this quest and then that'll call it quits for today's mission. So we'll wander down here. Just making sure that I, I've got a d decent a bit of mana. Uh, sorry, health. Mana I'm not so worried about. Like... Oh, a mimic! Cool. So these guys are annoying because they're not actually treasure chests. Um, that's an old D and D reference. In case people don't or aren't aware of it, uh, mimics look like chests, but they're actually monsters. Uh, it's kind of cool. Yep, that's cool, bro. Um, all right, so down there's um, something we can look at. I have no idea what that guy wanted. <laughs> Oh, wow. Let's have a look at that in a second. 
Where'd it go? No, seriously, where the hell did it go? It's not that. Where the hell did it go? Oh man. Alright, sorry, I'm just going to give us some health potions. Alright, well, I have no idea where that purple thing went, or whatever it was. Um, just the nature of the game sometimes. Sometimes I'm not paying too much attention as I'm trying to go a bit too quickly through it for you guys. So I can show you as much of this game as possible in the least amount of time, because you guys don't want to be sitting here listening to me all day, and I, well, I, well I'd happily play it all day. I don't think that's something you guys would like to do. Like, watch, like, two, three-hour long clips. Um, do I, do I want to do this? No, let's just do the main quest. Oh, okay, alright. So, that, that, see how it's a red zone? Like, there, it's 6 to 8. So, the game's obviously telling me, you're not quite ready for that yet, Matt. Um, you should probably do this Corrupted Crypt instead. Alright, so we'll pick that up. We can get a chain for our pet as well. Which would be really nice to get a hold of. Because the pet does a fair bit of damage. Uh, I'm going to switch it to aggressive. So that way it can start doing stuff while I do other random bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, as every loot based game um, that you've seen me play. You need a loot. I, it's clearly obviously the most important thing. There's a skull of Ando there, nice. Click. Come on, die. There we go, got ya. Alright, so uh, let's have a look at all this sort of stuff. Sc scouting gem. Electric amulet. Alright, cool, let's have a look at this. Skull of and uh, plus six physical damage. Damn, that is nice. Um, nothing else we can really use. Well, let's continue on. Um, we got a green guy here. He's down. Identify crossbow. Get this dude, smash these urns, and follow the pet. Let the pet bring a lot of the guys in nice and close, which then I use my big ground smash to deal with a lot of uh, some mana because I need mana. I really gotta get myself a gem of mana recovery. Like, they're very difficult to get a hold of, um, I found, and they don't regenerate a lot, but it regenerates just enough so that way if you do have poor mana resources like I do, um, you're not too far left behind. There's a little cursed sword there, it's just popped out of the treasure chest. We picked up a whole bunch of other stuff. What do we got? Oh man, that could have been like so good. A blue two-handed pole harm at this level of the game could have been really nice. Um, and for those of you who are wondering why I'm not just disenchanting, oh sorry, identifying my magical items, um, the reason is very simple for me. Uh, might not make sense to you and you feel free to ignore any suggestion I make pertaining to this game. Uh, I'm no expert. Oh, Got to get out of this spot. I'll tell you about it in a second. Um, it's because you they uh, they get identified as you level, right? Certain ones will sh have will identify this level. So there you go. Uh, automatically identified at level six. So there's no point wasting my identification scrolls at this level of the game considering levels are very quick and easy to get your hands on because the level requirements for each level are small um, it's easy to get a hand on them so you might as well just use those to your benefits and not waste your identifier scrolls like yeah they, they're pretty cheap and can be quite worth it to get but you know at the end of the day Late game, it might just be one of those things where you wish you had a couple on you and you don't have them anymore. Alright, so what am I actually doing in here? I'm trying to find a dude and retrieve a scroll of some descriptor. Well, looks like we kind of need to go this way. 
there isn't much else anywhere else in the um, dungeon so we'll go this way uh, oh almost dead I had a mana potions which is unfortunate but we still got a bunch of health so I'm just gonna have to hack and slash him the old-fashioned way Um, so health and mana potions all last 8 seconds so there's really no point spamming because they have an initial effect followed by a recovery effect over a period um, I refer to other this in other games as a hot which is a heal over time effect I'm gonna go down what? um, I'll heal corrupted cr creep what to get? In the path of the honor dead. Uh, let's have a look at this weapon rack. I think the crossbow. Um, Dan. Uh, good thing I got them. Oh shit! There's a few of them. Oh, that guy's got a little elite symbol around him. He hopefully will drop something nice. Drop a health potion to make sure I don't go down. Do a big smash to hopefully deal some damage to everybody. Got it. Um, oh, so the other thing is fame. I haven't talked about fame. At the bottom of the screen you see the blue and the yellowy orange one as well. The orangey one is fame. Which you get... Oh shit. Skill points for. Uh, maybe stat points as well. I'm not sure. But as your fame increases so does your abilities basically. Is the easy way to explain it. Uh, so is there anything down here with? Oh, so we got this chest. And because it's a loot-based game, die. Thank you. You want to do the other things of getting all those little bits and pieces. There we go. Picked up a couple of nice little items there. Um, open up the pets inventory and let's just get rid of anything that's grey regardless of its worth obviously not getting rid of socketable gems and so forth let's put them down the bottom okay you are not good for what I want to use I don't have good shoulders uh, increase the amount of experience gained Conveys 5% chance to poison for 5 seconds. Alright, well, obviously that 5% chance to poison is no good, but that 1% to uh, experience gained is fantastic. So let's put that over there. I don't need claws. I don't want those pants. That was not as good as I wanted it to be. That's, a, that's no good. That's one-handed. That's no good. That's no good. We don't use shields and we don't use that. So then we've got three unidentified items and this is what I was talking about last time um, shopping list let's buy oh the hell happened then oh it's by 40 oh no it's by 30 how much do I have? oh I haven't got that much look at that it's by like 10 um, health potions and don't alright. Send pets to town. Pets to town will take 40 seconds. So while the pets doing that, let's just go and wander down. Take on the fallen guardian a little bit. Usually they have this little set where you can wander around for a little bit and not actually go up against the big bad guy. So you get a couple of seconds to catch your breath um, from the, whatever was up there and above. Oh, these little guys on the ground. Hey, level up. Uh, and it just popped up with, you know, things in um, identified as well. Man, I'm having a real day for words at the moment. Alright, so let's burn through this as quickly as we can. Pets back in four seconds. Here. She, he comes. Got another Skull of Ando, which is nice. Got ourselves a little firing. Oh yeah, it's automatically um, equipped. That's probably where I lost one of my bits before I was auto equipping it. Lever. Gold. Who's this big dude? So I've just topped 
a health and mana potion for the purposes of being able to spam my, um, my main ability flame hammer just to deal as much damage at the start as possible just popped another set because it's pretty much my only form of AoE as well it's just good to have that ability on always sorry just a little strain in the voice just because I'm trying to do too many things at once one of those obviously being talking to you guys and as I normally do in stressful situations in combat I tend to go very quiet so I'm trying to rectify that for your benefit guys so I hope you're appreciative why would this guy die? just die! thank you! Alright. there's still a couple little oh I'm in a, an effect that's why it's not doing so well alright cool so we got that alright Alright, I think it's time we spent some of this. Let's go up to 20. That'll increase my mana as well. Yeah, it increases it by 5. Alright, that's, that's going to help. Um, how many more points do I have? Let's look at that. So let's go up to 25. Alright, cool. Alright. So, we're just sort of trying to locate the end boss because he's the one who's going to have all that wow slowly going down. Alright, so the 10 mana potions that I bought, I'm already down to 4 because of that huge fight. Oh, I was standing back to be a joke. Oh, he's the guy we need to kill. He's the fallen guardian. Come on, pet. Pull your weight. Pull your weight. Come on. I've almost got him. Oh, I've got him. He's down. Dropped the purple, which is the quest reward, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, so there's a portal back to the surface there where you don't have to go crawling through the dungeon again. And let's go hand that in, and that'll do this video. Nice, short, and quick. Alright, cool. So let's hand that in. Uh, what do I want? Um, oh, 0.3 mana recovery per second. Alright, so that means that, like, what's the, what's the first best one? The best one's every, it's 30. So, 10 seconds I receive. Oh, I'd receive 3 mana every 10 seconds, pretty much, is the way you'd look at that. Which is not a lot, but it would help reduce the amount that I need to use potions and it also gives me more mana and gives me a strength bonus and a dexterity bonus um, or I can give my pet plus 12 damage we're going, we're going to be selfish now I need 16 focus I've got 7 points, my focus is at 10, so we'll go to 16 focus, and we will put that item on. Alright, cool. Uh, we also picked up another skull of Ando, which was nice. Another one there. Uh, and we'll quickly give this to the pet. Put that on because that gave us more health and more vitality attribute which is effectively more health and um, we're going to put this one on as well alright so we're still missing a couple of slots for good items and we're also going to head back to town create a wayward portal, head back to the enclave which is the, where the town is, we've got two skill points to spend and we will do that very quickly. Alright, so what do you supercharge to? Uh, yep, cool, Cryptogra. Let's have a look at these ones. Plus two physical armor, reduced physical damage taken. Um, so, we'll buy that one because it gives us health recovery, and we'll also buy that one. Alright, that's going to end up the video for today. We'll see you next time, guys.